I had charged anywhere from $450 a month to $1,300 a month. The fourth side hustle kind of changed my life in a sense. Shorty giving Esther, but she fed up. Surging from a king to hold it down. But it's time you've been waiting your turn. They can never take what's yours. It's already written, baby. It's your girl Tayan Elise and we are back with another video. Today I'm going to give you seven income stream ideas slash side hustles that you can do without having a job. With each side hustle slash income idea that I give you, I'm going to label how labor intensive it was, how much I enjoyed it, how much time it takes, and how much money you can make from it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first side hustle idea is to become a nanny or a babysitter. Now I did this in high school. I actually loved babysitting because I love kids. So I actually rate this one on a scale of one to 10 at 8.5 because I love kids. When it comes to how labor intensive it is, I would give it like a four because it's not really a lot of labor, but you do have to interact and play with the kids and stuff. So that's why it's not necessarily a zero. For the amount of money that can be made, it really all depends on what you negotiate, but it can be anywhere from $15 an hour to $25 an hour. And if you live in a place like California where the cost of living is a lot higher, you probably can get even more. And also work out a deal where maybe it's not hourly, but you're getting paid monthly if you're watching the kids on a consistent basis. Let me know if you want me to give you some negotiation tips. And I also have a book that I can recommend to you. If y'all want that, comment that below. The next side hustle is Instacart. And I actually have been doing this the past month to get extra money for my birthday. But with Instacart, you, especially if you're like a college student or even if you're fresh out of college and just need extra income, this is like a great form of income. In my opinion, I gave Instacart a seven out of 10 because I actually like doing Instacart because most of my time I'm just driving and listening to music, which who doesn't want to get paid to drive and listen to music? And then also when I'm going into grocery stores, I feel like I'm getting food ideas from what other people eat. So I think that's pretty cool. And along with Instacart, there's also Grubhub, um, DoorDash, all those types of, I kind of, I'm gonna mesh all those together, but those type of platforms. But Instacart, I have heard, pays better than those other platforms. When it comes to how labor intensive it is, I'll give it an eight out of 10. There were definitely some days where the next day my body was sore because you're picking up cases of water. Like some people will order three cases of water and you have to carry it up to their apartment and you're just running around all day from one store to the next. So it is kind of labor intensive, but I still kind of like it. It's not that bad. When it comes to the amount of money you can make from Instacart, it depends how much you do it. Hourly, I'll say on average, I would make anything from $17 an hour to $35 an hour. And then on holidays, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, it's sometimes even more, it's really crazy. I've had weeks when I'm doing it five days a week where I've made like, $500, $600 a week off of Instacart. So really it's just about the amount of time you put into it. The third it. side hustle slash stream of income that you can do is becoming a virtual assistant. When I first moved to New York, I started off as a virtual assistant. I actually like being a virtual assistant. You're, it's all remote. I love that it's remote. You don't have to get up and go to work. The agreement that I had with the lady, Kimberly Services, shout out to her. She paid me $20 an hour when I started out. I started also being a virtual assistant for like the Chamber of Commerce. They paid me $40 an hour. So, and then I know some people who are virtual assistants on a retainer basis where they'll have an agreement to work for $1,000 a month for one client. Remind you, you can have multiple clients. I'll rate being a virtual assistant an eight out of 10. So what I loved about being a virtual assistant is there's a lot you can learn when you are at an entry level position. So I would just find your nearest entrepreneur, a small business and see if they need help. Cause I promise you if they're an entrepreneur, they do need help. Cause they're probably wearing multiple hats. <laughs> when it comes to how labor intensive it is, I'll give it like a two out of 10. <laughs> Maybe even a one. You consider pre pressing buttons labor. A lot of things that I did was organizing files, maybe answering emails. Because I'm good at marketing, I also helped her with her email marketing The fourth side hustle is actually one that I spent the past year doing. Kind of changed my life in a sense. Being a social media manager. Honestly, that is the wave right now because now social media is so big that a brand is behind if they don't have it. Man, I will actually give it a nine out of 10. Even though I'm kind of tired of it just because I've been doing it for, I guess the past year and a half, 
I love it because I love social media and it allows me to kind of mix something I love and make money from it. Now, when it comes to how labor intensive it is, I will give it a five out of 10. It could even be a, maybe like a six out of 10. Depends on how much you do for your clients. For my clients, some of them, I would go record their content and then you also have editing. And then also to gain clientele, I would go to networking events. So it really depends on how much you do for your clients and how much you put into it. From the retainer basis, I had, I had charged anywhere from $450 a month to $1,300 a month. I started realizing to, it's better to just do it on a retainer basis because you kind of make more money that way and then just have a list of deliverables and tasks on a monthly basis. And it really all varies on what you do. If you are working for larger companies, sometimes you can charge even more than that. That's how far I went, but it can be more than that. And remind you, like I said before, this is per clients. So if you get about five clients or 10 clients, you'll be set. The fifth side hustle or streams of income, and honestly, this one is another one you can make a whole career out of, is being a UGC content creator. For those of you that don't know what UGC is, UGC is when you create content for brands to use on social media, their website, and their paid advertisement. But instead of paying the entire production team, they pay you to create the content. It's really cool because in the world of influencers and everyone trying to become an influencer, this one, you actually don't need a following. UGC content isn't meant for your page. It is meant for it to go on the brand's page. I give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I love UGC creation because I already love creating content. So for me to get paid to create content for other companies, it's kind of like you're also a model in a way. I mean, I love modeling. So for me to get paid to just do something once again that I love, 10 out of 10 for me. When it comes to how labor intensive it is, I will give it a four out of 10 because it's not crazy labor intensive, but it really depends on what brand you're working with. Like if you're working with the athletic brand, you might have to do a little bit more labor and to get the video. And then you also do have to edit and you do have to um, record and do multiple takes. And then if you send it and they need revisions, then you have to re-edit and it, it can become a little labor intensive. But to me, if you are doing something you love, it's not that bad and it doesn't seem like labor. How much you can make from UGC creation, it ranges, honestly, y'all. And it really is about you understanding how it works. You can make one video more money than your base rate. So I know a lot of UGC creators will start at $150 for a video. There are so many ways, and once again, I can get more into that in another video, so comment below if you want me to. But there are so many ways where you can up that rate off of just one video. Even though you don't need a following to be a UGC creator, I do recommend having some type of social online presence and it because it does help. It just shows that if you can build your own community that you can help build theirs. Once again, you do not need it. So if you don't have it, still start, still do it. If you do have a following, sometimes it gives bigger incentive for you to charge more. Like there are some UGC creators that have thousands of followers and they can charge your brand $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. Okay, number six. And actually this one is kind of promo for me, but it is print on demand and selling clothing apparel and then using TikTok to drive traffic to that clothing apparel. First of all, shout out Big God Big Business Hoodies. I'm gonna put the link in the bio so you all can shop them for my Christian girlies who own their own businesses. I love print on demand because you can start with little investment. I think the print on demand service that I use is like $10 monthly. It allows you basically to have a clothing brand without putting in the upfront investment. The clothing is only made once an order is made. Now with this, the only problem is sometimes it takes longer for a customer to get the order where it's like usually five to seven business days when you're just shipping out the stuff yourself because you have the inventory but it may only take like maybe nine days or 10 days when you do it this way, but it's still worth it because if you don't have the money to for the startup cost, this allows you to jump right in with actually with little to no risk. You just wasted like maybe $10 if it doesn't work out, but it's gonna work out for you. Cause I feel like the people that's watching this channel are just meant to be great. A scale of one to 10 on how much I enjoy it, I would give this a seven. You just have to create the content and then you can go on a site like Fiverr and have someone actually make your logo for you so you don't even and you can pay somebody like 10 bucks really a low startup cost so if you haven't started already what are you waiting for when it comes to labor let's give it a three out of ten because 
you do have to create content, but you can find a print on demand service that does all the packaging, all the shipping for you. And you can even have it created where certain slips and pamphlets and papers are in your packaging. Also get customized packaging and they do it all for you. You can make anything from $25 to a t-shirt to $65 to a t not t-shirt, but maybe a hoodie. Or if you have a set, it really all depends on what you are selling. Remind you, this is just something, a little business tip, because and let me know if you want more. Revenue and profit are two different things. While you can make 20 to $65 on a t-shirt or a hoodie, there is a cost to the amount you make for the hoodie. You wanna subtract the cost of the hoodie from the amount the buyer is paying you for the hoodie. For example, let's just do small numbers. If your hoodie costs $10 to make and you are charging someone $35, you are going to do 35 minus 10. That means you have profited $25. A little lesson in business for you. Okay, my last side hustle, stream of income, this is another one that you can turn into a full-fledged business, is setting up websites, WordPress, Shopify, Wix. Learn the skill of how to do this, because there are so many entrepreneurs that need help developing their websites. And you don't even need to know how to do it from scratch. You just need to know how to use these hosting platforms. When it comes to how much I like this side hustle, I would give it like a four out of 10 for me, just me personally. Some people love it. It's kind of a lot to develop a website. I'm telling you about the opportunities, up to you what you're doing with it. Don't you the alley, ooh, you got a donkey, okay? When it comes to labor, I gave it a seven out of 10 because it can be a lot of work developing an entire website, doing like the planning for it and then actually developing it and then doing the revisions. Sometimes it can take weeks to develop a website. If you're really good, maybe it'll take less time, but it really all depends. When it comes to how much you get paid, really, you can get paid a lot for websites. It really just depends on the budget of the person you're talking to. I've seen websites, if you're just starting out, someone join it for 150, but I've also seen people charge like $1,000. So the range is crazy. I think it really comes down to your experience and you would have to create that price instruction. So Queens, that wraps up my video on seven income streams ideas that you can do if you don't have a job. But if you want more income ideas, more business tips, whatever you want, comment it below. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video, get it up, okay? So I can create more content. As I always say, girls, don't forget to keep it cute. And guys, don't forget to keep it handsome. Bye. Shorty giving that stuff, but she fed up. Searching for a king to hold it down. But it's time you've been waiting your turn.